Soul retrieval is a sacred act of healing that restores our connection with ourself, nature, other people and the universe itself. It's not something that's typically found in mainstream society, but it's been practiced for thousands of years all around the world. In short, what soul retrieval does is it brings back parts of the soul that have either been lost through trauma or blocked negative emotions, which means less physical illness and more peace on a spiritual level. In this video, I'm going to look at how soul retrieval is an important way of healing that can help us heal from past trauma and emotional pain and help us reconnect with the universe again. If you enjoy our content, consider leaving a comment, click on that like button and click on subscribe with notifications on to get quick access to all of our latest content. And now back to soul retrieval. What is soul retrieval? Soul retrieval is a process of retrieving fragments of the soul that have become lost or disconnected from the main part of the soul. This can be caused by traumatic experiences, accidents or emotional pain. When we experience trauma in our lives, a part of our soul breaks off and stays there in that moment in time. The purpose of the soul breaking off is so we don't have to experience the traumatic event in its entirety. With less of our soul inside of our body, we feel less of the pain. This may be a good defense mechanism for short-term trauma, but when the trauma happens over and over again, our soul breaks off into many different pieces over time. We need to find these pieces and restore them back into our soul in order to heal. Symptoms of soul loss. That's when we feel like a robot and unable to connect with others for more than a few seconds at a time. It can be terrifying when we realize that there is always this wall between us and the world and no matter how hard we try to break through it, it just feels impossible. When we've lost too much of our soul, it feels like we are not fully present in life because part of ourself stays locked away in a small dark room somewhere in our mind. Having the sensation we are watching ourselves live our lives instead of experiencing it fully, like it's not even ours to live, like it's just a dream. It feels like there's no sense of time and we feel disorientated. These symptoms can be relieved by connecting to these pieces of our soul that we have lost and reconnecting to the emotions we disconnected from. It takes time and courage, but it works and it helps. Easy things we can do in our everyday life that will help. Talking about our trauma with someone who really understands the experience, like a therapist or a friend who has been through something similar. Making art about how we feel on the inside. It's very therapeutic and it will help us express ourselves through painting and drawing, especially when the words fail us and they often do. Yoga and meditation are two things that can be a lifesaver. This will help us connect to our bodies again and help us quiet the noise that's constantly going on inside of our minds. Personally, I doubt salsa and bachata. This type of activity has been awesome for me. The community, the music, and this kind of movement really helped me to ground myself better and get back inside my body. So there are so many reasons to perform a soul retrieval. It can reconnect us to our feelings, our creative power, our creativity. It can restore the ego's connection to the soul. It will contribute to the alleviation of depression, anxiety, and addiction problems. This is about returning to wholeness, one of the basic issues in any kind of therapy or spiritual practice. How Soul Retrieval is Performed Soul Retrieval is an ancient spiritual practice in which a healer travels into another realm in search of the lost pieces of their soul that are not easily accessible in ordinary reality. The process involves entering a trance state where one journeys beyond this world into another reality. This may seem like just another form of exploration, but unlike many other modalities, what distinguishes soul retrieval is that the practitioner returns with pieces of their soul, which has been lost either through neglect or harm. In a typical soul retrieval ceremony, participants lie down with their eyes closed, allowing the healer to access non-ordinary reality easily. Shamanic practitioners use different techniques depending on their tradition, which can include chanting, rattling, or drumming to induce a trance-like state. There are many ways in which the three pieces of souls are returned back to the original person, with most involving some kind of physical contact, such as through laying on of hands and massage. For my soul retrieval, I was asked to move my hand towards my chest, sort of a symbolic act of pushing my soul back inside my body. The entire process typically takes an hour and seems to involve significant emotional release for participants who often experience 
euphor euphoric feelings and catharsis afterwards. There are many reasons why people take part in soul retrieval. The most common being that something has gone wrong during their development. This can happen when someone goes through a serious illness, accident or violent attack. It may also occur after experiencing emotional trauma like sexual abuse or loss of loved ones. These experiences cause soul pieces to become disconnected and they cannot be accessed easily through ordinary reality alone. Another reason for where soul retrieval is necessary is spiritual crisis where one's soul wishes to learn something new but this is not understood by the ego personality causing us to feel lost. Soul retrieval in such cases helps resolve these issues so that both the ego and the soul coexist in greater harmony. Doctors also have their own version of soul retrieval. They call it disassociation. In a healthy person, there is a good working relationship between the conscious and subconscious minds. But when someone has been traumatized, this balance becomes disturbed. When a child is hurt by something that happens to them, or they see or hear something that frightens them very badly, the information enters into their subconscious mind as a raw daughter. It sits there untouched because it's too difficult for the mind to cope with it at the time. Some of it will stay down there forever unless it can be brought back from the depths and reintegrated into consciousness again. The more intense the trauma was, the harder it will be for this traumatic material to re-emerge from the subconscious. When a person goes into therapy, however, a good therapist will work with the, the patients to find ways of getting this information up and out of the subconscious again. A lot of techniques has been devised but one of the most effective is regression therapy. By going back in time, sometimes before birth even, it's possible to go back to the moment where the pain was inflicted upon us for the first time in our life. Benefits of Soul Retrieval The benefits of Soul Retrieval are almost innumerable. It is a process that helps to bring the frag fragments of a person's soul back into his or her body. This allows us to feel complete and whole again and gives us access to all parts of our psyche, both positive and negative qualities. It allows us to experience wholeness in our lives, which many report feeling more centered and grounded after doing soul retrieval work. Most importantly, soul retrieval enhances our lives by allowing us to increase creativity and spiritual connection. Some people even become aware of special abilities that they did not possess before doing this kind of healing. For example, some people who do this work develop clairvoyant abilities, while others start having vivid dreams about past lives. So in conclusion, soul retrieval is an ancient practice that can help us get in touch with our true self. It's amazing how much this process has helped me feel more connected to myself and my creative side. I am not alone, as many people have said soul retrieval helps them live a better life by enhancing their creativity, intuition and spirituality. Thanks for watching our video on soul retrieval. Leave us a comment down below and tell us about your soul retrieval journey. Like this video and click on subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of our future videos.